So I, uh, I've changed my mind about prop from trading again. I know that I keep giving you guys mixed signals about this shit, but you know, this new recent change of unlimited time for challenges is a big deal, especially for traders that are disciplined and are conservative in their approach. So I passed my challenge back a week ago and you can see my 300K funded account here. And I just finished my first week of trading. So I'm looking for a 2% monthly target at the, on this 300K account, which is 6,000 a month or uh, 72K a year. And 72K a year is a really good income for most people. So my Forex funds allows up to 600K. So I'm gonna probably take another challenge and shoot for 2% monthly target on the 600K, which is $12,000 a month. I think that every trader is has the wrong approach to these prop firms. I know that we think that these prop firms are not gonna be around for very long. They're gonna get regulated, but the more that they keep changing the rules and making it easier for, for traders, uh, the more that they'll avoid regulation. So this recent change I think is gonna buy them a little bit more time and it's causing me to change my approach as well. I'm, I'm gonna be more conservative. I wanna to try to hold on to these funded accounts for as long as possible uh, because I realized that even a 2% monthly gain is a really good income. So I think that most traders know now that prop firms make their money from failed challenges, right? So this recent change of allowing unlimited time for challenges seems like it would affect the firm's profit margin because more people are passing challenges. I think it's gonna have very much the reverse effect. More people will take challenges, but the fail rate will be the same. So the firm's probably gonna make more profit. They're basically banking on the trader not having the skill to be conservative, making just one to 3% a month. Um, and that is the case. I think they're right with that. And you know, because I know from my personal experience, I come from a musician background. I know what hard work and discipline is. And discipline and trading is one of the hardest things I think I've ever had to do. Um, because it's way too easy to just change your lot size, to recover a loss, or to over trade. There's too many things that you can do wrong in trading. And I knew this about myself years ago. And so that's why I developed an algorithm called the Comeback Kid to basically help me fill in those weak spots in my trading. So the Comeback Kid basically does all the heavy lifting for me. So it keeps me in a strict risk profile. Uh, so I'm not gonna over trade or over risk my account uh, because it's doing all the heavy lifting. So that's why I'm using this on my 300K account here. Um, and I think that it's gonna be pretty good on allowing me to profit 2% monthly. So I know the majority of you have a full-time job outside of trading and you're trading as a hobby or an investment and you hope that one day your trading income will replace or allow you to quit your job, right? It's a good goal. But the problem with that is the majority of us traders just don't have the patience for that. Patience goes in favor for you in the trading universe, especially at prop firms now with this new rule. So if you can slow your expectation down of passing these challenges, instead of trying to pass it in two weeks, why not try to push the pass time up to three to six months? I know that seems like a long time and it means that you have to you know, trudge through your, your full-time job still, but this is what's needed in trading and it will teach you really good discipline and allow you to only make 2% a month to make more than the full-time income. Do yourself a favor, try to find trading tools that allow you to have better discipline. This is what I'm needing to do and I have a lot of trading experience and I know that even seasoned traders still struggle at having discipline in trading. So I made a walkthrough video of all the trades that I've taken on this account so far using the comeback kit. So the walkthrough video goes through the before taking the trade and after and I talk about why I took the position as well. So that video link is in the video section of my Discord channel, so make sure and check that out. So you can see that I have an 87% win rate after 16 trades, $1,651. And you can see all the winning and losing trades through my FX book. That link is below the description of this video. Anyway, that's it for now. Thanks everybody for watching. Catch you on the next one.